Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Hard Truck 2 King of the Road version. Let's get going now. What I did between videos is I uh, dropped off that empty tanker and I went down just north of St. Helena here. And there's a trailer right there. And it's going to Eastwood. Not that great of a haul, but it's something. And we'll be able to go over the, uh, the North Harbor roads. I'm not sure if I showed off already in this playthrough or not. I don't think I did. It's gonna be some good. Not that I can see anything, but whatever. I'll pretend that I'm looking for traffic anyway. And I'm gonna. And since uh, we don't have a competition at all or anything, we'll get there in plenty of time anyway. I'm gonna go up on the regular road instead of cutting through Sandy Ranch. I just uh, you know, noticed some changes with this road that I'd like to pick out. First off, there's a uh, guardrail right here on the right, preventing you from hopping down to that dirt road if you didn't get on it at the right time. Basically, they're trying to funnel people onto the dirt road correctly. There's boulders down there on either side of the dirt road too, which adds more to it. And there's Guardrail's gone, but there's a boulder. There's a couple of boulders here. And, um, and an info booth right there. And that, all of that really keeps you from coming out of Sandy Ranch and just flying up the grass hill right up onto the main road right away instead of doing what you're supposed to do and running on the dirt road. I mean, you can still do it, but at least there's obstacles to go around now. Before it was just all open, you could just go up the hill however you wanted to. This road, I'll tell you in advance, I, I suck at driving on it because I don't usually drive this road. And on top of that, it's very deceptive. It lets you really open it up and go fast, and then there's curves. I know that's not a real good way to explain it, but yeah. It, it's, it's easy to fly off the road on this road. This shortcut to the right is still there um, to go around. That just cuts off this little part of the road in case this giant pipe falls down when my light's on. There we go. And then just a little further, of course, is the fuel depot. Which is really nice. I, I, I really like that added feature in, in general. And it's really good around here because it gives this section of road a purpose. Because usually you just always cut through Sandy Ranch. No reason not to. I parked the trailer right there. But now, at least, there's a depot here, so there's a reason to come up this road, which is nice. And, uh, there's more boulders along this road, too. The trees and stuff, in general. And then, um, there to the left, you can kind of see it. Um, there's, like, little openings behind the, behind the rocks, behind the, uh, little mountain. There's like uh, little hide hideaway spots, like there it is right there too. And that's new, I think. Pretty sure. Also coming up on the right, um, there's water that you can go flying into if you're not careful. In fact, uh, this is my second time recording this video because like a complete total idiot, I didn't realize that Fraps wasn't running, so <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I, I saved at the next slot. Yeah, there's water over there. Glad I saved it the next slot down. Well, I think I realized the fraps wasn't running right at the end of the video, or, or else uh, would have just missed a whole little block. But uh, thankfully, got that straightened out, and, uh, and we're all set. And uh, we can take a shortcut here around all these loop de loops. Now that's more, a little bit more level there. It's a little easier to get on and off that ramp from the side. There's an info booth there. I guess that makes sense now that they moved them so they're not right next to the depot. And I always drive horribly around that curve. Always. Always know it's there, always drive horribly around it. And, uh, we'll be able to go around on the little, um, the beach road up here and pick up a uh, hidden cargo. Maybe I'll do better this time than I did last time. And this grid 
branches that made this bridge a lot prettier. Uh, 80 miles an hour, which is no big deal. Um, see the uh, street lights with the globes? It's very nice. Very pretty. That's all new. I don't know if they change anything else with it. That's, that's still, that's a big improvement. Our cargo. Yep. That's what's so nice about with this zoom in map where you can get the second zoom and you can tell exactly which shortcut that it's on. These these are really hidden roads, not shortcuts. It's, there's no shortcut to go in around on these beaches. There's a bus. Tried this. Where's my lights? Last time when I tried this, uh, I went into that wall a little bit too much and got stuck. This time I'll try not to do that. It's very tricky though. You can see how much the land is sloped to make you do that. And if you go up the other side, you're going to flip yourself on that cliff side. But there we go. That Sand looks different. I'm not sure how it's different. It just it's different. <laughs> Smoother maybe. Lighter color. I'm not sure. It just looks different. <laughs> it's normal. And this load goes to River Valley, which will work. I don't really want to putz around and go up to the next one to see where that one goes. And if I don't like where that one goes, come back to this one. We'll just pick up this one. Next one we'll figure out next time we go up to this road. It's probably something like River Valley or Mercury. That's usually where they go around here. They overdid it a little bit with the dust. All that dark dust. It makes it pretty hard to see. I know that's what they were going for, but I think it's just overdone just a tad. Same thing, I don't want to slam into that wall. Oh yeah, there's like a big bump there. So that's why I went up there with some speed to try not to get stuck, but I do believe I am stuck anyway. Yeah. Very tempted to just use free recovery. Uh -oh. I just want to see... Yeah, screw it. I want to see if I'm throwing the trailer off and put the back on. That definitely was not at all in some storm. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The cargo is getting all sorts of damage. I just threw that trailer off because it, the damage was ticking up. What happened there? 
Oh, that's the old trick this game likes to pull every once in a while when you're stuck with a trailer. Anyway, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Now, as tempting as it is to see on the map that the container we want to pick up is right there on the right, we're not going to make this little U-turn here. We're going to go on the main road and around so that instead of trying to get up that giant bump, we go down it. Because, you know, I, uh, I just realized that would be a much better idea. I mean, you got to loop around a couple times, but it's freaking worth it because, uh, I tried and failed the second time to get the trailer out of that hole. It's just the way they, they uh, redid it a little bit, I guess. Because I don't remember having that problem before, you know, in the American version. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I didn't have that problem. Though. Maybe I always looped around. I think so. I remember making that YouTube. Anywho, let's go in here. Carefully. Kind of. Should have stopped there. Hold on. Okay, I think we got her. Yep. Okay, let's get the music going. All right, that's better. Hopefully, we won't have nearly as much of a problem getting out from the other. End. It seemed a lot better anyway. <laughs> oh, we'll see see how good of an idea that was. Also, what we just went through reminded me that maybe I should kind of, you know, just hit the escape button and save the game a little more often. You know, that, that, that might be a good idea. Pick up that load. Alright. Oh, that's a nice view of the bridge from here. Very cool. Now we'll just try to be as close to the cliff side as possible without flipping ourselves over. Yeah, this has to be easy. There we go. Much easier. Okay. Let's try to put that in our memory banks. Always do it that way. <laughs> Pretty sure I used to be able to do it the other way, the American version. I'm not, not positive though, I haven't played it in a long time now, so who knows. Anywho, um, for the sake of time we'll see the sign that we're entering River Valley County. Which is kind of cool. I know, there's, there's no point in it. There's no point in me announcing it, but I, I just still find that interesting that they added county lines for the roads. It always looks like my lights aren't on. I know they are. There it goes. Also, I stopped in the repair station by Sandy Ranch on the way, and I bought um, anti-lock anti -lock brakes, ABS brakes. Um, not quite sure yet if it's really made a whole lot of difference. I'll, I'm sure I'll notice it eventually. It should help, like, if I need to brake for a lot, you know, hold the pedal down like an idiot. I won't skid around as much, maybe. It's one of those things that helps a lot, but you don't really notice it. You know, you don't realize how much it's helping, but it is until you get rid of it, probably. So. Yeah, that's another song from the Transformers movie. Oh, 
Oh, they added support pillars underneath this section of bridge. You know, this long causeway, this long curved causeway. I remember it used to always look like it just floated. And now I just noticed uh, pillars underneath it. Here we're going through the tunnel. first. Yeah, then River Valley. I'll have plenty of time. And around here, um, there's a fuel depot on the right coming up. And there's all these fancy little exits to get in and out uh, from different angles. See it? It's really tight. Well, no, that's where it's coming in. But then, uh, up there, it's a really tight spin around with a bunch of empty trailers. And then you can even see an underpass that's coming from the other side, which is cool. I was just confused for a second. So I was thinking, didn't I do this already? <laughs> I did, but it was the first recording, and um, like an idiot, I didn't have fraps on. I don't know how the heck I didn't notice that. I think I mentioned that already. It's getting late. I have to watch the time now. Uh, damn, what, how many minutes did I have left? I'll just stop in East, Eastwood. Uh, River Valley, I mean, once I get down to River Valley. Yeah. Yeah, when I did it the first time, I made it to River Valley. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind that. Okay, this song I think we just heard. No, that's not a full song. There we go. Little Black Sabbath. go wrong with that. Here's our turn off. Slow down a lot because I'm not sure, but I think this might be, this curve right here might be a tad tighter. Maybe not. I'm not used to coming down um, for the Eastwood turn off from the North Harbor and don't really do that too often. I mean, I'm usually coming from the Mercury side where you just have the little short straight exit, this one. So, um, I could be wrong there. I don't know, it seems a little tighter. Here's Eastwood. I'm not going to be an idiot and turn right at this traffic light here and go in the wrong way. This traffic light here is very hard to see because it's just little traffic lights on the sides. There's not one hanging. And um, I'm going to very easily blow through that one a lot. I, I can foresee it. And also what I find interesting is, yeah, this is the way in. There's a tra traffic light for, for out but not in. Well, I guess when you're making a right in, but you also got to make a left in from the other end. So, yeah, I don't know. They'd rather have the traffic light for it. Okay, I don't think it'll let me pick up another load anyway. Let's see. Yeah, I got plenty of time to get down to River Valley, so... Let's see. Oh, there's River Valley. Oh, that's the wrong button. Not enough space, that's what I thought. Here. Well, the load is very low. Sandwiches, huh? 30,000? Yeah, I guess you're usually making a left out of here. I don't know. Hey, never mind. I hate seeing the yellow light under the red like that. That drives me nuts. I guess that's maybe the European way to do it, but 
don't know why that bothers me so much either. Yeah, I can tell those brakes are better. traffic I, I find it hilarious when it does that when you're coming up on the opposing vehicle see that see it backs up for a while before it goes forward like the game has to try to decide where where the truck should have been it, it's weird it doesn't slow the game down at all so I don't mind it it's just kind of fun I'm not talking too much. Uh, a little tired tonight, but it's a good time to record videos. Everything's quiet and fine right now. start shopping for a different truck. I mean, this truck is working out great. I, I like it a lot. Uh, but it's, it's got to be getting boring to watch the same truck forever. It's just I don't want to spend a lot of money on me. I want to spend it on hiring drivers. So I might even downgrade and get, get a truck cheaper. Although this truck was pretty cheap. It's great, but I think it was pretty cheap. The only thing cheaper than this would be the Zill, and that's a real downgrade. It's when you hit the hills, anyway. Well, I used to think the Zill and the Cam Ass were pretty close to each other, but I think the Cam Ass is a lot better in this version than in the American version. much the Mac is. Macs are great. And if we go back to a five gear truck, I might go back to driving manual instead of automatic. It's just these nine gears. It gets really annoying trying to shift through them. Red light. Well, that truck didn't seem to care that it was a red light, though, did he? Just run up, uh, we'll park the empty trailer here. I'm gonna end up with a lot of empty trailers here, I can tell. Unless there's any good in that. You always pick up a lot of loads uh, going to River Valley, and a lot of times I don't really want to leave from there. <laughs> Let's see if I can pull this off. Hesitated a little bit. Lost my spit. There's no reason to go through all this to park the tra trailer either. I'm just being a little silly. Let's 
go up and see what's at that parking area. Oh, that's right, I do not have a license on <laughs> here. I did this, the funny thing is I did the same thing with the video that I had to trash because there was no video. Um, I ran up, I'll oh, run up there, I guess, right? But, uh, I ran up there thinking I had a license to hire, and I didn't because I, you know, I picked up the trailer, which doesn't give you a license, and then I picked up a container, which doesn't give you a license, so I don't know why I thought I had one. Well, it's a good place to end the video up here anyway, we'll just park here. Um, what's for sale? See, there's a Zill. Oh, the white Zill for sale. I might buy that just because I've never been able to drive the white Zill. I don't know, it's a real downgrade. We'll have to, we'll have to think about that one. But anyway, uh, that's good for a video. It's probably pretty long. And, um, I will see you guys next time. Later.